Let's talk about a medication that I've noticed is carried less and less on the ambulance these days, and it's called activated charcoal. Activated charcoal is also known by its brand names, one being Actidose, another being Liquichar. Activated charcoal falls under the drug class of adsorbents and antidotes, which leads me into the indication or why we give it. So we give activated charcoal in certain overdoses or poisonings in conscious and alert patients. Let's talk about how it actually works in the body or the mechanism of action. Activated charcoal adsorbs toxins, poisons, drugs that are located in the GI tract, and by doing this, we hope that it reduces or blocks the overall absorption. As always, before we get into dosages, make sure you're abiding by your local protocol and staying within your scope of practice because this can vary from area to area and state to state, but a typical activated charcoal dose could be anywhere from 25 to 100 grams, or it could be the weight-based dose, which is usually one gram per kilogram for both the adult and the pediatric dose. So this is given PO or by mouth, and our patient has to be conscious and alert while we give it because obviously we don't want to choke our patient or cause some type of aspiration. So that leads me to our contraindications. So obviously our patient has to be conscious and alert. So comatose patients are out. Patients that have GI obstructions, we are not to give activated charcoal to. And also if we know whatever substance they ingested is super acidic or super alkalotic, activated charcoal is contraindicated. Some adverse reactions you could expect are nausea and vomiting and overall just GI upset and also aspiration. And we have to be very careful with aspirating activated charcoal. Aspiration's bad no matter what it is. But whenever you aspirate activated charcoal, a deadly form of pneumonitis can form. As for drug interactions, it's always a good idea to call med control if we're going to give activated charcoal for acetaminophen overdoses because there is an antidote that the hospital typically carries for acetaminophen overdoses called acetylcysteine and they can interact. So if you are planning on administering it for a Tylenol overdose, maybe just phone med control and see what their plan is on whenever you deliver this patient. And then a side note about this medication. As we talked about, the patient does have to be conscious and alert, but the overdose or poisoning has to have happened in the last two hours. 